This is the homework for 357, 358, and 360. In problem 357, you need to complete a table for the rule negative x plus 3. Then plot and connect the points on the graph. I have chosen several negative values, several positive values, and 0. If x equals negative 3, I have it down here. If we plug it into the rule, it's the opposite of what x equals. So I put the value of negative 3 in parentheses. That's where x would be. So I'm saying what is the opposite of negative 3, which would be a positive 3. Just because there's an x there doesn't mean that you can get rid of this negative here and this negative. You have to have them both. Opposite of x. x is negative 3. So opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. So y equals 6. Another example. If x is negative 2, so it's opposite of what x equals. So opposite of negative 2 is a positive 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. Now that I have several inputs and outputs, I, I'll go ahead and plot them. Always start at the origin. Negative 3 on the x, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, positive 6 on the y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'd go ahead and plot the rest. In problem 358, you need to draw figure 0 and figure 4 for the pattern that was given. And then describe figure 100 in detail. Well, when I have these types of problems, I like to color the, color the squares in and so I can see exactly what's going on. I can see the pattern. So I colored in this square and figure one is a two by two. Figure two is a three by three. Figure three is a four by four. So you can see the pattern. Four by four, next would be a five by five. And I notice that this green square is just the figure number plus one. So figure number is four, this is a five by five. Figure number three is a four by four. And I keep doing this the other way, four by four, three by three, two by two, one by one. And if I look at the horizontal part that's coming off the bottom right, Figure one has two, figure two has four, figure three has six. So I notice that it's twice as many as the figure number. So figure four has eight. And if I go back down, six, four, two, you can see we're subtracting 2 each time. 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So we don't have any orange. Figure 100 would have a 100 by 100 square with 200 tile horizontal row on the bottom right. So figure 100 would have 200 tiles here and it would be a 100 by 100 square. For problem 360, you need to copy and simplify the following expressions by combining like terms. When I'm combining like terms, I like to have them the same color. That way I can clearly see which terms I can combine. So negative 5y and positive 1y equals negative 4y. 2x plus 3x is 5x. 
4x squared, just one, so there's 4x squared, and negative 3, negative 3. Did the same thing in problem B. 2x minus x is x minus 3x is negative 2x. Negative 6x squared. You can clearly see there's only one x squared term. So there it is. And then 9 minus 1 is 8. C, I did the same thing. And in D, you can see that we have all zero pairs. Negative 10, positive 10. Positive 3xy, negative 3xy. Positive y, positive y squared, negative y squared. So, equals zero.